Hello lovelies! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing outstandingly well. Jane here and today we're going crazy wild with colors. This video is all about the colorful boho interior design style. But first I want to say a huge Thank you for all the love and support you guys have shown me over the past few weeks and months. Loads and loads of kind comments, sharing your thoughts on your favorite styles and color schemes, new video ideas and requests, likes and subs. I am absolutely gobsmacked and totally overwhelmed. <laughs> Over 1,000 of you guys have subscribed to my channel. This is a tremendous milestone for me and I am over the moon excited about all this. I do put in a great deal of work to create my videos and since you guys really seem to appreciate that, I will do my very best to continue creating valuable content to get you, if possible, even more passionate about interior design and keep you inspired. So, colorful boho style. I will not go into a full detailed breakdown of the style in this video as I have made a video on this previously. If you haven't seen that already, I will link it for you in the description box below so you can head back and have a look later. And if this video gets a little bit too colorful for your personal taste and preference, do check out my video on the neutral boho style. I will link that in the description box as well. Also, I will link a great article from BBC about the origin and history of the Bohemian style if you would like to read up a little bit more. But today I have loads and loads of cool stuff to show you, so grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and get comfortable. I have put my party makeup on and we're going for a trip on the colourful Bohemian train. Our very first stop is the Trisha tub chair in gold patchwork. Oh my gosh! If you are looking for an accent chair, a piece that really stands out and gets the conversation going, what do you think about this one? It's like the very first race of sunshine after a grey and gloomy day, isn't it? This chair makes me happy and it gives a definite pop of colour into any boho home. If yellow isn't exactly your colour but you still want a chair that is funky and fun but a little bit toned down, what about this chair right here? Abigail wingback chair also comes with a footstool so you can throw your feet up and relax after a long day or just grab a good book and lounge for as long as you want. If you want an accent chair but don't quite love the patterns, I do have a couple of options for you as well. This high back chair comes in three different colors, a very happy yellow, a dark grey and an aqua blue. I really love the retro look and the shell design on the back of this chair. It's upholstered in velvet, so it's very soft and very tactile as well. I also wanted to show you this low back wing chair in my favorite color, blush pink. Another great thing about this little sweet eye candy is that it is very small and light and very easy to move around from room to room. You can have it in your living room, bedroom, uh, kids room, any room of the house really. And if you don't share my passion for blush pink, it does come in a blue and a green velvet as well. I have one last chair to show you and it's this rocking chair in bamboo. I know that this piece is not for every home and it's not cheap either, <laughs> but I really like it. And it's very neutral, so you can definitely have this in both a colorful boho home and a neutral one as well. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Thank you. 
and it wouldn't be quite like me to show you a comfy chair without giving you at least a couple of options of some squishy cushions to have in your chair. This first cushion has an ethnic uh, pattern, Aztec pattern, in a color combination that I really, really like. And I also think this cushion works very well with my second cushion. It takes on similar colors and this uh, Turkish Kelim pattern really works well with the Aztec pattern as well. These two cushions would look absolutely wonderful in our bamboo rocking chair, don't you think? Okay, and we're moving on to some really boho home appropriate tables. The first one is a round table of cane and it is so, so cool. It has a light modern design to it, but at the same time, it's very eclectic. This table can be used in the colorful boho style, but also in a neutral colored boho home. Exactly the same can be said about this side table. It is from India and it's hand carved from mango wood. It's foldable and it's a really, really lovely piece. Lighting is always important and in a bohemian style space we need to make sure that the lamps have this global kind of feel to make the right vibes. This Moroccan style ceiling lamp has exactly what it takes. With its multicolored gemstones and prisms it gives exactly the pop of color that you want. This lamp is a real eye catcher. In shape and design, it looks very much like these traditional crystal chandeliers, but this one is made of colored wooden beads. As you can see, the main color is turquoise and it has some red and yellow accents. If you are brave enough and you have a thick enough wallet to go for this beaded chandelier, it's really a great piece that can make any room. Another great piece to have in a boho home is this Moroccan lantern. It comes in two different sizes and loads of different colors and they give the most cozy light. These ones are not electrical but they're made for tea lights and they're quite affordable too. And as the bohemian interior design style really is an expression of someone that travels the world and bring home different handmade and handcrafted items from countries all over the world, it's very, very suitable for such a home to have a globe. And I want to show you two. This first one is a National Geographic globe and it's illuminated. So when the evening comes, you can turn it on and it gives a very, very soft glow. And if you appreciate the idea of a globe but don't want it illuminated, we have this little one as well. It's very, very cute and a perfect decor item for a boho home. If you instead want an outlook to the entire world on your wall, we have this world map from National Geographic as well. It's an art quality print in antique style and it looks lovely on the wall. An absolute must is an ottoman or a footstool or a poof. And this one I wanted to show you. It is handmade in India and it's an embroidered patchwork poof. They come in so, so many color combinations, but I particularly love this one. It just depends on the color scheme you have going in your room. Next item up is this large round braided rug. It's an absolute gem. It is handmade from natural jute and recycled multicolored fabrics and it's an eco-friendly piece which would make a great addition to any room. It comes in several shapes and sizes so you can very easily find one that is perfect for you. In a boho interior design scheme, it is usual to combine lots of different patterns and layer up on the different textures as well. 
floral patterns are very much on point and I want to follow that botanical lead for a while. These cushions come as a set of four and they're an explosion of colors, very fun and very funky. Pile them up in your sofa and you will be one huge step closer to boho chic. If you like the botanical theme but you don't want to go all out when it comes to the colors, what do you feel about these cushions? They also come as a set of four. They keep to the neutral and green and there's some absolutely wonderful tropical plant prints on them. I like these very much. To continue our palm, banana plant, uh, monstera and green leaf theme, if you don't want these prints on your cushions, perhaps you rather want them on your wall. This is a set of three botanical prints and they come in different sizes as well. They are absolutely great to put up on your photo wall in between those portraits of your friends and family or perhaps combine them with your own art pieces. When it comes to designing rooms in the boho style, creating accent walls has really started to climb the popularity ladder again. And within a short this autumn winter, accent walls are going to be super on trend and really hot. And I want to show you three different wallpapers that are simply gorgeous. This first option is very neutral. Again, we see the same botanical theme with the monstera and the palm leaves and it's absolutely beautiful. The next one is also kind of neutral but it mixes in a bit more colors with the blue and the gold and the green on a neutral background. This last wallpaper is for the more dedicated ones. The background is dark and the florals, the leaves are rich, deep green and blue tones. And I love the pink birds that really gives that pop of color and sophistication to it all. This wallpaper is quite strong, so I would not necessarily put it on all the walls. But as I said, one accent wall or even a part of the wall would be absolutely gorgeous in this wallpaper. Is it a beautiful wallpaper or is it a little bit too much? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think, guys. When we talk boho, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't even mention the self-adhesive sticker tiles that you can get and decorate a lot of things with for this style. Now, if you want to go for the real thing, the real Moroccan patterned tiles in ceramic, of course, they are absolutely wonderful but they can be quite expensive and if you're not quite sure if you want to go down that route just yet why don't you try out the style with these self-adhesive stickers first or if you live in a rental like i do and you want a quick change without putting too much money in it these are such a clever hack this is a set of 12 stickers and it's so, so easy to attach. You just peel off the backside, put it on your wall and it stays there until you're tired of it and you can just very easily peel it off again without damaging the wall underneath. They come in so many colors and different patterns. I also very much like these colorful ones. They are very eclectic and very fun. You don't necessarily have to have them on your wall. You can also upcycle any item that you have. You can stick them on any piece of furniture also. Or why not decorate a rather dull staircase? I think this looks amazing. All these items I have listed in the description box for you. So if you want to go and have a closer look, you can absolutely do so. I had so much fun searching for all these boho treasures so that you don't have to go shopping for hours and hours to find the absolute best items out there. My pleasure, you can thank me later. <laughs> Do you like this? 
or is there some other stuff you rather want to see? Please leave me a comment below and let me know. Your wish is my command. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you found this video inspiring. If you did, you know what to do. <laughs> Until next time, take care and God bless. can be used in a colorful boho home but also <coughs> also <laughs>